What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today I'm tackling a challenge I did last year. You guys loved it. Video could be popping up to my right. Not to my right, to my left. Right around now. Look at this editing. My uh, my hands are being blocked by the microphone, I noticed. But no, look, look, there it is. You guys loved it last year, so we're bringing it back. I would very much appreciate you guys subscribing if you're not already. And uh, let's try to hit over a thousand likes. Anything above that would be truly incredible. But guys, never been here before if you weren't here last year. Um, the lowest overall that a player can actually go is a 12. However, they could be all zeroed out, as I'll show you in a second with Baker Mayfield, as I am doing this with the Browns, just because I've released some players, so you're going to see them on other teams across the league. Um, but it's a zero overall team. Everybody has zero overall, zero overall offense, defense, as you can see there. So we are doing this with the Browns. The goal is to effectively win a Super Bowl. It's going to be super tough, and I'm going to try to do it in a short amount of time as possible. With the way that simulation is this year, it's going to be a little bit weird. We're going to play the moments when we get to the playoffs eventually. But we're th we'll talk about my strategy in a minute. Let's just get into the team first. All right, so this is going to be an absolute pain. It's going to be a real pain. We're starting at the regular season. As you can see, everybody is effectively a 12 overall on offense, defense, special teams. You guys know, uh, know the routine, especially if you were here last year for this. But Baker Mayfield, as you can see, start of element. It's going to be going a waste because he has zero everything. Throw power, deep accuracy, to break sack, to speed. The only thing that isn't zero is injury because the lowest that that can possibly go is 11. That makes him a 12 overall because that makes sense. But other than that, everything is zero overall. He's the 123rd ranked quarterback in the league, uh, putting him in the top 100% of quarterbacks. So everyone that exists, yeah, he's in there, which is is uh, good to see. So year one, it's going to be nothing. We're going to simulate because there's nothing that I can actually do here. Now, I can sign free agents and I could trade them, which I think is just going to be about the only thing I can do. And... Of course, Miles Garrett is here, Jarvis Landry is here, Richie Incognito. Uh, but really the point is that there are a lot of Cleveland Browns here because when I was creating the roster, I had to release these guys. I will not be signing them because I feel like it'd be disingenuous. Oh yeah, rebuilding a zero overall team, but the guys who are on the team who are super high overall, I'm just going to re-sign them. Not going to do that, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to sign other guys. So Jonathan Hankins, former New York Giant, Indianapolis Colt, he will be signed to the team. We're going to have a ton of money just so much money and i would be foolish not to use it and i will be cheesing the system a little bit here because i'm starting with a zero overall team you guys have to let me do a little bit to screw around um but everyone that i sign is going to be trade bait i'm going to trade that for picks i'm going to get as many picks as i can because that's going to be the only way to do this in a reasonable amount of time is to just acquire Decent players, of course, not on the Browns, guys who would have been here anyway. Orleans Darkwood, another former New York Giant, being one of them. And I will be trading these guys for as much value as I can muster. Oh, Blair Walsh. All right. Um, yeah, we can probably sign him. And, uh, nah, we're not going to. I was going to make, like, a pulling it left joke, but, I mean, that's kind of overdone at this point. Malcolm Mitchell might be another guy that we sign in. And there's not a ton of value here in free agency, so I'm going to make do with what I have clearly no one's going to want to trade for my 12 overall players like baker mayfield is not going to have any value whatsoever he's not going to have any value even though he has that star development even though he's baker mayfield so i'm going to see what i can do with guys that we brought in like jonathan hankins like spencer Ware, eric reed orleans dark what malcolm mitchell that's the only value we have on this entire team jonathan hankins and a future seven is going to get me a first round pick from the baltimore ravens i tried to go after lamar jackson ravens were not having it and i think having lamar jackson would offer uh a pretty sizable term of progression for us if you want to say it in that sense which that's barely english if we're going to be honest but the way i mean is that lamar jackson he's a super super young player with probably a very good development trait and great speed great throw power so we'll bring a player that probably will not only develop quickly but a guy that already has great intangibles he only has quick development he always balls out though 94 throw power the problem is he's not gonna have anybody to throw to so year one i'm gonna just bank on the original strategy which is 
trade we lost 147 to nothing by the way in the preseason versus alliance you guys couldn't see that we'll check the schedule out in a minute uh but i'm gonna stick to the original strategy which is trade what we have and um use that to get as many picks as we can all right eric reed malcolm mitchell and spencer ware is gonna get me a one and a two from the Bengals. they should be pretty shitty so that's gonna be pretty good for us that should be a top pick hopefully number one and of course uh, you guys may have read my channel name at this point, especially if it's that subscribe button and like the video. But uh, I'm not a Bengals fan, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shit all over them if I have the opportunity. Orleans Darkwa could offer some decent trade value, not much, because let's be honest, it's Orleans Darkwa. But if I could trade him to a team like the Jets, this could be ideal. The Jets, without really a true high overall quarterback, could struggle quite a bit. Mm, they're not really feeling Orleans Darkwa. And you know what? I'm going to blame them because Orleans Darkwa, you know what? Despite whatever you want, might want to say about his on-field abilities, he's a great guy. So just like he'd be a great locker room presence. You know, maybe just add him to the team real quick. Give me your first round pick and we can ball out like this. Okay, there's a third. And let's do a fifth this year. And boom, not even close. Cool. All right, there we go. Orleans Darkwa, a three next year and a four this year or something like that. And uh, we have a first round pick from the Jets. More than likely this year in the draft, you're going to see me doing a lot of something that people don't like, which is me trading down all the time. But you know what? Things have to happen and that might have to be one of them. All right, let's set our season goal. What am I thinking for this team? We've got seven wins. Is there is there zero wins? Can I get any XP for guessing zero? Because I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to be. Um, you know what? Let's just... let's just We got a lot of team confidence. We're going to make the Super Bowl. All right. That's our season goal. We're not really going to re-sign anybody. So what I'm going to do is simulate straight to the Super Bowl. And maybe we're going to be in it. Who knows? Um, here's the thing. Didn't exactly make the Super Bowl. We went 0-16. Of course, nothing new for Browns fans, so we're in business there. Let's go ahead and check off the playoff or check out the playoff schedule. We don't exactly have a playoff schedule, so we're going to stick to team. And uh, as you can see, it was a rough start as uh, we let up 140 plus points in three of our four preseason games. But you, those aren't even starters playing, so who cares, right? Surely it's going to be better in the regular season. Hmm. First game against the Steelers was not our best. We lost 189 to nothing. Now, that's not terrible, as we didn't have a 200 bomb put up on us. But, you know, we played the Ravens pretty tight, only allowed 84. And we scored on the Chiefs. We got a field goal. Only lost 98 to 3 that time. And we only scored three points the entire season. But on, you know, the bright side of things, we never actually let up 200 points. So the defense, they're firing all cylinders. They're clicking. This is the makings of a super talented playoff team. Let's go ahead and check out the stats. Baker Mayfield killed it. Uh, and by killed it, I mean he killed us. 63 interceptions, didn't exactly get a touchdown. Uh, was 124 for 469. Not even that bad. His quarterback rating... I know what you guys are thinking. His passer rating, zero. Come on, guys. Zero is like, it's not that bad. Drew Stanton had the same exact rating as Baker Mayfield. He didn't throw a pass. So, all right. Uh, as far as rushing goes, Matthew Days was our starter. He did not get a yard. What? Huh? Wait. No one had an attempt. Oh, wait. Here we go. Carlos Hyde. 183 carries, 172 rushing yards in the wrong direction. Clearly no touchdowns. He averaged about a negative 11 uh, per game. Broke 21 tackles, only fumbled 26 times. Baker Mayfield, 31 fumbles. Uh, Matthew Days, 29 fumbles. That had to be receiving maybe somehow. As far as receiving goes, of course, no touchdowns. Jeff Janis played all right, though. That's not bad. That's actually not terrible. 12.3 yards per reception. Same thing with Evan Barry, about 13. Could be worse. Blocking. Honestly, the offensive line is 
performing way better than I expected. This is not a whole lot of sacks allowed compared to what we usually might see. I'm not even kidding. Go look up any of my other rebuilds. You're seeing like 17, 18, 19 a year sometimes from top end tackles and guards. This is honestly pretty good. Offensive line held together well. Justin Curry had 163 tackles. Our whole team tackled so well because we got no pressure and we allowed catches at every turn. We had an interception. Denzel Rice, you beast. Any sacks? Nope. All right. What about forced fumbles? Nope. Denzel Rice, though. I don't know how he got an interception. Who is the quarterback that threw an interception to a zero overall player? How we do kicking? Zane Gonzalez. Ah, yeah. He was one for two. As that <laughs> it's apparently the only time on the entire season we got into field goal range. Punting. Britton Colquitt was a monster. 137 punts. Now, I'm not exactly a math major, but 137 divided by 16 games, that's like 70 punts per game. So he's killing it. And um, yeah, uh, we're probably not going to have anyone in the competition for any one of these awards. Le'Veon Bell, the Steelers went 8 6 and 2. How do you even manage? What are these records? What are these records here? I need to see a lot less ties, EA. Ties, believe it or not, they don't happen that often. But it is off-season time. Enough rambling. Let's sign everybody in free agency. That's how we're going to win. Ooh. Jarvis Landry's here. Do we bring him to the Browns? The Redskins and Dolphins, per usual, are really driving the price up quite a bit. So I'm not going to actually sign everybody here. But there are some players I definitely do want to go after. So Dante Fowler. Young. Talented. What is your development rate? Hopefully quick. Normal? That's not surprising. Uh, Sheldon Richardson should have at least quick. He is normal. I don't really agree with that. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year. He was pretty good. Hasn't been amazing since, but all right. I guess that's understandable. He's been kind of weird since. Trevor Williams, he has normal. Does anyone have better than normal? I want him also. We have a ton of cap room. I need to sign these players. Jarvis Landry is star. I got to sign Jarvis Landry. He's got to become uh, a Cleveland Brown again. Tyrod. I'm going to draft a quarterback probably. Uh, let's go ahead and sign some of these guys. And we are going to be playoff bound next year. Book it. Maybe not. So I offered on a lot of players. The thing is, I didn't want to destroy all of my cap room for the future. So I didn't actually like offer. Uh, well, I didn't really intend on signing a lot of the guys I offered on. So we got Teddy Bridgewater. Dante Moncrief rejected. Trevor Williams rejected because he always does because he's a bitch. That's super annoying. He always does this shit. He never signs. I, I, I'm giving you the most money. Just sign. Dante Fowler accepted. The beast out of Charlotte. Larry Ogunjobi accepts. Sheldon Richardson accepts. Or excuse me, rejects. So does Derek Kindred. So does Shane Ray. So does Jarvis Landry. We got Larry. We got Dante Fowler. We got Teddy B. Not a great free agent class, but at least now we're at 19 overall defense. Which brings us to a nine, or excuse me, a nine overall. So we're we're in business now. This is where the team's legit. I'm ready for the draft, and then the Super Bowl. They go hand in hand. So we're really going to be in a position where we just take best player available, and there are a number of guys here that really are selling me on them before I even see anything. So we got Canarius Watts, but really Fillmore Gardner. Are you kidding me? I'm already on board. Four or five flat. He's very strong. He's an alright power back. We got Devin Manning. Maybe the fourth Manning brother with Eli, Peyton, Cooper, the lesser known Manning brother, and now Devin. I could see the resemblance. I'm not going to lie. He's a power back with 4-4-2 speed. Interesting. We got Adonis Williams, Cortez Veal, Blair Chung. We got a lot of names here that I'm interested in. Taiwan Van Dyke. Oh, this might be the winner. <laughs> now we're gonna we're gonna draft on merit actually opposed to just name all right i haven't even checked out our picks because uh i'm lazy but guess what doesn't matter we get the first overall pick i'm telling you i'm not taking it there's not even a chance because the trade value is going to be so massive we also have the fourth the 20th the 22nd we got the first pick in the second round the 22nd pick in the second the first and the third we got a lot of action going on because we didn't exactly have the best record. I'm not sure why I thought we'd have anything except the first pick. I forgot we didn't trade it. But we're going to trade it now. So 
normally I would go in and like manually negotiate. Oh, actually, you know what? I am going to because I'm like the worst. So I'm going to trade to the Cardinals and I'm going to trade to the Bills and then to the Panthers. You guys are going to see it's going to be just the worst. All right, Cardinals, one, two, and a one next year. Ooh, that didn't go through. This frustrates me greatly. What kind of value can I give you back? I know we signed some players just to fill our roster. Surely you're going to be interested in one of these guys at least a little bit. Ray Ray McLeod. We got Jordan Lasley down there as well. Oh, they really, they, they're like, if Ray Ray's in, the whole trade's off. Okay, we're going to have to offer a pick. Yo, the Cardinals are being so difficult right now. I'm totally, I mean, we're just not going to negotiate with them. The United States does not negotiate with terrorists, so we're going to move on. All right, the Bills are playing ball. Guess what, Cardinals? Go suck a fat one. Number three overall, a second and a first next year from the Buffalo Bills. We now hold the number three and number four overall picks. I'm going to see if I can trade the three for some more value because we picked up a lot of value just with that trade. Where would I say? Panthers? I think so. Damn. All right. What do you mean? What is... What did I just do? Did I trade both picks? It wasn't popping up. Oh my god. I traded I traded both picks. Oh, I wish that hadn't happened. I, I swear to god, I just traded number three and four for, for five. A second and a first next year. I swear to god, if three isn't here, I'm going to be furious. Oh my god, I traded them both picks. Why did it not pop up? How am I supposed to know it's sitting there? I'm not... Uh... That's terribly unfortunate. So this was an unfortunate occurrence that happened because, uh, of course, as you guys know, if you've been following for a while, nothing is ever my fault. As, but th th clearly, I have, I have an exact, you know, I have an actual reasoning as to why this was not my fault because it didn't even show on the screen. And now I'm gonna be stuck. Instead of having back-to-back -back picks, the Panthers and their bitch asses have back-to-back. -back. Frustrating. I'm taking Devin Manning at five. Are you a running back at five? You're, what are you, is 1984? No, actually. That'd be sick if in 1984 a running back went at number five. I actually, I don't remember that draft class at all because uh, I was like, what, 30 then? It's a long time ago. Anyway, Devin Manning, he's going to be an 80 overall with superstar development. Uh, not bad. I remember him having dreads in his picture, so this disappoints me greatly. But... I can't really complain about 91 speed, 89 trucking, 88 stiff arm. He's an absolute monster. He really is. And that's our new building block. You say, oh, take a quarterback. Uh, guess what? I don't believe in them. All right, so in 1984, the fifth overall pick was uh, Bill Moss, a nose tackle out of pit, went to the Chiefs. The first running back would not go until uh, pick 26, as there were only... 28 picks in the first round because that's the number of teams there were in 1984. Fun facts. So I guess this is not 1984 because running backs still didn't go high then. All right, I'm taking Dalton Knight here. 6-1 out of Auburn, 4-4-9 speed. Pretty okay speed for a wideout. At 6-1, I'll take 4-4-9 any day. Great top three skills. It's really why I'm leaning towards this player. Dalton Knight will be a 78 overall with quick development. I really wish they'd stop this you ranged in the lower left when i didn't because guess what it's ranked number 20 in the draft and i took him guess what at 20 how is that a reach it, it's a graphical glitch i had some idiot in my comment section my scouting videos like uh, uh, if it says you reach after every single time uh maybe you should think about someone else making the video how about you shut your idiot mouth all right look at the screen it's a glitch all right the move is i know you guys love it i'm trading down because trading down is the wave. I like I like trading down because uh, that means I can have a pick next year and it can be better. So I'm watch this, watch this. 22 overall. Who sucks a lot of ass? That's going to be we're going to find that out. The Bears? Oh, you know the Bears. They have two next year? Give me a 101 and a 2. No interest. Okay, yeah, clearly. All right, that would have been sick though. Hell yeah, you like Teddy Bridgewater. Pick number 22. Teddy Bridgewater and a third gets me a projected top 10 pick next year from the Bears and another first round pick next year from the Bears. That is that is as good as that could have played out. That, that was amazing. 
See, the Eagles just took Lemuel Jean-Pierre, as you can see in the lower left. Who else? All right, I have a very high interest in a specific player. However, if I can get first round picks next year, I'm gonna be trading them down because, I mean, it's, it's cheese. I gotta. I don't get any options though. These bitches are so annoying. Just accept the offer. You want this move. You need this pick in this year's draft. Stop playing hard to get, Cardinals. Give me the pick. Okay? What about a four next year? How does that sound? Thank God. All right. We get a one next year. I gave up a decent bit for it, but it should be a pretty high pick, so I don't care. I don't care at all. Look at these scrubs they're drafting. They're... Oh. All right. Kamani Christian out of Clemson. 4-6-2 speed. Had an, a, just an amazing combine. Great top three skills. He's going to be our anchor in the middle. 78 overall quick development. Currently, we've reached because he's ranked at number 23 in the draft. And apparently, the second round is, uh, you know, it's a reach when he's a first round talent. So that's how that worked. He is a beast, though. 85 speed, 87 tackle, 83 block shot, 88 hit power. He is a monster. So that's a pretty good pick for me. All right. So he's kind of not great. But Leland Walters is the pick here. Just because he has incredible speed. Three cone, 20 yard shuttle are also out of this world. So what do I need from him? Speed, agility. He's killer in that department. His skills are okay, but I think he offers great value as a return man. He's gonna be ranked number 18 in the class, 78 overall deep threat. Uh, only normal development, which sucks, but 97 speed, good deep route running, decent catching, insane acceleration and agility. He's exactly what I need him to be. So, of course, you know, top 20 pick in the second round. I can't really complain too much. Think about what you guys look for in a running back. This one's a receiving back. I, let's all hear it. Slow. 466 speed. That's ideal. We don't want him overrunning, you know, these throws from the QB. Jamel Hopkins. 77 overall quick development. Ranked number 27 in the class. We took him here late in the second round. So, not bad. 84 speed is not where you'd want it but he can catch all right so maybe he's a slot receiver with terrible speed i don't know why i took this player like sure his overall is decent sure he's a first round player i don't i'm not sure why i took him i don't care about overall i care about ability and development all right joey flowers at a marshall 6 8 339 good strength good top three skills here he is gonna be a 74 overall um ugh, yikes not terrible though good strength 84 run block 78 pass block 78 run black power 83 impact blocking 69 lead block nice so that was my last pick actually for a while because we're in the sixth round now someone offered me a four hell yeah panthers you know what we're not even from me getting screwed over earlier you know we're not even at all i don't know why it even like yeah me getting a four next year is gonna make us even from them stealing a first from me it's a travesty what has happened here. Hudson Corner out of Cal. He's a kicker. Guess what? You're our kicker now. 76 overall. Welcome to the damn show. All right, draft recap time. Let's see if the Panthers actually took somebody of value when I was robbed. That's what happened. We had a good draft class as well. We filled a lot of holes, but of course, we still have way more holes to fill. So they took two really good players. Adonis Williams is an 82 overall. Quick. And Ryan Rodriguez is an 80 overall quick. Uh, a little bit annoyed for sure, but they got Garrett Manley in the I don't know what I'm talking about. That was like not a high pick. He's terrible. Oh my God, though. I'm so annoyed that that happened because we could have potentially had one of those players. Not that I would have drafted them, but we could have. And now I'm going to trade Hopkins. That's why I drafted him. I'm going to trade him. And we are going to get uh, offensive line help. I, I mean, like, the team still obviously sucks a lot. Who is it? We got to check out free agency. We're going to simulate to the next season, which is like a week, apparently. And uh, we're going to sign players. We're going to trade players. We need this team to at least be okay. Oh, uh, there's nothing here. Steven Nelson might have some value. I think it's PJ Williams who's a free agent. 
he might also have some value i can't think of another p williams who'd be out here it is pj williams so he will also become the newest cleveland brown and again i'm just gonna be trading these players probably jalen watkins young ish he'll have some okay value maybe all right shaquille barker shaquelle i'm gonna have to ask him how that one's pronounced all right we got the panthers back i think this one actually probably evens out jalen hopkins a tackle I signed out of free agency and a second round pick gets me Luke Keekley. So pretty good linebacker to add to our emerging linebacking core. Luke Keekley don't mind that at all. And of course we drafted Kimani Christian. And yeah, uh suck my ass, Panthers. How does that feel? How does that taste? I'm also not done screwing over the Panthers. Calvin Pryor, who we signed. Tyler Matakevich, who we signed, and a fourth round pick next year gets me Daryl Williams from the Panthers. Very good right tackle. Probably will end up playing left for me. Still need to figure out what we're doing at quarterback. Of course, we signed Teddy Bridgewater, traded him away. Baker, probably not the answer at QB for us. I want to go out on a limb there and say that. Now I'm trading Brinkley, right tackle we signed. He's a rookie, as well as a fifth next year, a fourth this year for a two from the Panthers. And uh, yeah, my, you know, my rage cannot be contained. I keep going after the Panthers. And uh, I'm probably about done with them. I do need to make some trades, but I think it's just going to be another pretty much simulate to the next season. Do the free agency in the draft again and see what we can uh, see what we can do from that. Jimmy Ward and John Brown, who I signed, is going to get me Quentin Nelson from the Colts. Huge upgrade on the offensive line, obviously, uh, as you know, pretty much anything is from a zero. But Quentin Nelson, really, really talented young player. I did sign some guys in free agency. Ishmael Betts, who I tried to trade. And I might end up trading. But Quentin Nelson, huge addition. PJ Williams gets me a third round pick from the Raiders. And I think we're on the right track here. I know it's a lot of trades. It's a lot of cheesing, if you will. But uh, these picks are going to help us turn around this franchise in a jiffy. Jalen Watkins gets me a two from the Saints, which... Makes me believe that I probably could have gotten a two from the Raiders for, uh, what was it, PJ Williams who I traded? Yeah. Steven Nelson gets me a two from the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, I probably could have gotten a two from the Raiders in that case. TJ Jones, Kyle Emanuel in a six this year gets me a one and a two from the Bengals. And that's all I'm going to do. And I know you said that's all. I just did like a ton. And you would be correct that statement i need to sign a quarterback because i need somebody to throw to these receivers to get them yardage and other than that i think we're gonna be in business i'll show you guys who we get oh man i almost got trayvon boykin is that colt mccoy hook him horns baby colt mccoy is the newest cleveland brown and by that i mean like he was a cleveland brown already he's back all right that's all i'm gonna do we have a decent offense 75 overall it's bad but it's not terrible it's, it's pretty terrible, actually. Defensively, we're awful. But I'm not going to really sign anybody. Um, I'm just going to move Kamani Christian over. Actually, I'm going to move Luke Keekley over to right outside linebacker. Because I want Kamani Christian to get a lot of tackles. And I, I think at middle linebacker, he'll have more opportunities than at right outside linebacker. That's the way simulation probably goes. Although Luke Keekley's a beast. He might lead our team in tackles anyway. But we shall see. It is a good team. It's not. Why do I keep saying that? It's terrible. It's re really actually bad. I'm not even being sarcastic with that point. I'm just misspeaking. It's a terrible, terrible team that will never win until next year, maybe. But I'll see you guys at the uh, probably midseason mark. I might have to resign somebody. Nah, nah, I won't actually. I'll see you at the offseason. All right. So we went 0 16 in back to back seasons. This isn't exactly a shocker as we still suck. We're still terrible, but maybe we did all right in the stat department. I'm not going to show the schedule again because, let's be honest, nothing crazy probably happened. Colt McCoy was as you'd expect Colt McCoy to be. Not great. Rushing, Devin Manning, four touchdowns, 3.3 per carry. Not a great season, but also it's like the team still is terrible. So it's forgivable. Receiving okay year from our rookies, kind of, eh, kind of not blocking we need to improve the offensive line so drastically kamani christian had 163 tackles that's rookie of the year it's got to be he also had a pick luke keekley had two 
six and a half five uh, six and a half sacks for luke keekley as well and that oh, didn't even lead the team dante fowler jr at nine larry ogan joby with eight interceptions two from keekley really dante fowler had one <laughs> oh man we need better defensive backs as well force fumbles 12 from luke keekley that's ridiculous he also had four recoveries just an insane season because it always happens with linebackers no defensive touchdowns show me some rookie of the years i need him i need him ty Gurley wins mvp something tells me we're not going to be in that conversation afc offensive player of the year goes to Le'Veon bell no browns defense player of the year cj mosley really no browns offensive rookie of the year is devin manning that's key show me defense it's not alexander watson wins it kamani christian at number two with 160 plus tackles you're kidding me we do have a decent bit of skill points for uh for manning that's pretty much it defensively kamani christian has six so that's actually not too bad either it's pretty great so i will uh i will get to that at some point philip door sets a free agent but i don't care even at all about him uh and yeah nobody else of any real value need a huge draft i have a lot of picks i don't know if you guys were aware i also need a huge free agency i need to fill gaps fill holes we got 40 mil to spend that's actually still a decent bit Ooh, we had some accepting that i didn't think would happen jalen mills accepted leonard floyd accepted miles jack rejected he's someone who i thought would accept sheldon rankins accepted okay so i'm shocked about miles jack it's, i feel like you know whenever you offer people money they're just like nah i don't want that uh that's okay though because we got a bunch of really really good players here uh leonard floyd is huge and the reason he is so huge because he's an 87 overall right outside linebacker he will not be playing right outside linebacker leonard floyd is going to move down to right end where i assume his overall will actually jump up maybe to an 88 89 perhaps even a 90 and we will see that in a moment we secure defensive tackle that's golden now leonard floyd is a 90 sheldon rankins larry Ogunjobi should be good to go dante fowler is good to go our defensive line is set our linebacking core would have been set had miles jack signed so that kind of sucks but jalen mills is also a huge signing 86 overall with confidence he's a really really solid player and at worst he'll be a nickel cornerback for us at some point down the line but the team is actually really coming together we have a ton of picks i need to capitalize i'm gonna i might as well upgrade some of these players now uh at least devin manning and um uh something Kevante christian that's not his name uh kamari i'm not far off i'm also probably not close kamani did i say that i don't think so i really don't <laughs> but we're gonna get him up to about an 80 overall so he is now an 82 overall which i believe is an 80 yeah 84 overall with confidence which he doesn't have right now but that's overall pretty good did he always have quick development i thought he might have had star how does progression go got a ton of xp for leading the nfl in tackles but other than that i don't think he had a development change so he always had quick that's fine all right draft time we have quite a few picks so if we don't capitalize with just some incredible players here i will be upset and we're gonna be on the road to writing this team this year we have a first uh in terms of overall first third ninth 13th 14th 19th 31st and then the second we have first fourth seventh 19th we have a ton of top picks and the top top pick will be bruce and out of florida great top three skills that's all i care about with a quarterback and here he is 79 overall superstar development is what i care about he is a beast 93 throw power 81 deep accuracy 86 medium 86 short 85 throw under pressure as well he's a really really good player and that superstar development is incredible fantastic number one overall pick there as the colts go kilo mcbean cornerback old miss who i probably would have targeted at three with this pick i'm taking a safety demarcus bolden out of clemson we went sec now we're going acc we're gonna mix it up in this draft i don't know why we're not we're gonna do whoever is the best player demarcus bolden 438 speed incredible strength his top three skills are very interesting he looks almost like a sick cornerback but he is gonna be the number one overall player in the draft apparently we drafted him at one but we of course didn't because this is not the first overall pick but he is an 83 overall superstar development 
can't get much better than this 94 speed 80 zone 81 man 77 hit power 81 tackle 96 stamina 90 injury 77 catching weird weird stats but of course he's an absolute monster i was gonna debate on letting him uh slip and then go pick him at number nine but i couldn't couldn't risk it i think taking him at number three was probably for the best and this player was just way too good to let pass mario Colclo out of stanford another different uh conference this one of course pac 12 486 speed is elite speed for a defensive tackle with 39 reps 225 on the bench of course first fantastic top three skills i cannot let him pass 81 overall quick development rank number four in the class another beast 93 strength 84 block shed 81 power move absolute beast already kind of on the same level of larry ogunjobi i might want to trade larry i love larry I might want to trade Larry Ogunjobi. That player was just way too good for me to not take. Maybe we'll transition now to a 3-4. We have the personnel for it. That might be the best move, actually. And I have back-to-back -back picks here. So at first pick is going to be wide receiver Ladarius McDougal out of Clemson. We're going back to the ACC. Why not? 4-4-1 speed. Fantastic top three skills. Really can't go wrong here. 81 overall star development. Rank number six in the class. 91 speed great overall route running besides deep which is not as great great catching though 87 89 catching traffic 80 spectacular catch we have a great trio of receivers now we're fine and we're going to back this up securing another sick player into our secondary and that is going to be none other than Faisal Barkley out of A&M former uh Big 12 I guess now in the SEC not amazing speed but he's got fantastic top three skills for run support safety great bench as well he's gonna be an 80 overall quick development and 79 zone isn't even bad 84 speed 88 pursuit 88 hit power 87 tackle he's like a linebacker is he a linebacker six foot 225 he's like a linebacker wow okay uh we're not gonna play him at linebacker he's gonna play strong safety we're gonna move over the free safety excuse me the strong safety we drafted to free safety i think it's just gonna look better and um yeah let's continue the draft here and get some sick players and i i can't not reference the name his name is will hump all we're moving on i thought about trading this pick down but i think i'm going to trade down the 31st pick and i'm actually going to slide down here just make sure we get this player shamir sands out of louisville run stopper style great top three skills extremely strong and very fast 466 speed this should complete our linebacking core even if we do move to a 3-4 he's not going to fit the style but we're going to have options at least shamir stands out of louisville 75 overall really really i am shocked by this 84 speed 86 tackles 76 block shed 85 hit power 87 pursuit just awareness and play rack is low that's it why is he only a 75 this is a really good player so i don't know just normal development really is uh not exciting to me if i'm being honest a one and a two is going to get me zach martin from the cowboys really good offensive lineman versatile i could move quentin nelson over to tackle i could move zach martin over to tackle and if you look at our offensive line now we're solid at left guard we need a center we need uh, a left tackle and that's it but of course i can move zach martin over to left tackle and now all i need is another guard in the center which probably is what i'm going to do with these second round picks two twos and a future three will get me brandon linder from the jaguars very solid center to get and now i'm running low on picks i have one two i have a three and a five i need to beef up the offensive line though so a two and a three gets me david de castro so zach martin's gonna be moving over to left tackle and i pretty much exhausted my picks here but we now have arguably the best offensive line in the entire league so i'm gonna say overall probably worth it decent center here cameron kayak out of kentucky he's gonna be the pick 72 overall ranked number 110 in the class we took him here in the fifth round uh and i i'm gonna simulate the rest it, it, the rest doesn't matter even he didn't matter i don't need a center i just traded for the offensive line I, we don't need him so draft recap we did it all right <laughs> we, we took some really really good players we had 480 pluses plus a 79 superstar to be our new quarterback the cpu does not a draft per usual it's the sixth round they're gonna get a pass 
again per usual but the team is really really good at this point in a lot of areas we still don't have a tight end i might want to get on that zach martin just because he's the best in our entire offensive line uh, and he's versatile we're gonna move him over to tackle i think that's gonna be the best spot for uh for him on our team so really all i'm trying to do right now is figure out what can i do to get a tight end we got a stud qb we've got some good pieces around him i'm probably gonna dump some players and head into free agency and pick up some others we definitely need a fullback i need a tight end we will be able to get decent at least backup quality players in free agency um that are better than 12 overalls there's no point to have a 12 overall on the team anymore they're just they happen to still be here in free agency we should be able to sign someone at least okay it's not a bad option tight end i'm gonna go ahead and sign richard rogers i know like most people won't really care about this because it's not a player that's going to end up being on uh the team near the end and then a fullback i will be signing let's go for bruce dealman he's a rookie out of wisconsin and uh he'll do the job at fullback they don't really need much here and then defensively we're pretty solid the team at this point as i said it looks really good we have some superstar players out here richard rogers even has a skill point so all it is about now is just letting these guys progress gel as a unit and then hopefully uh winning us some games richard rogers goes up one overall defensively just about filling some of these holes which we will i need a backup defensive tackle and then it's all about worrying about corner because the linebackers are pretty damn good i also have to figure out what luke keekley's doing and it's he's probably gonna play middle linebacker almost certainly and then maybe we'll trade sands for a cornerback if i can that that's probably what i want to do so i'm at cornerback right now and i'm trying to decide which cornerback i'd rather have from this team got super young player and carol mack you got desmond king jason Verrett. all of these guys wouldn't be super difficult to trade for i can't trade for casey hayward i'm not sure i'd even want him that he's 30 he'll regress i'm thinking desmond king is probably going to be the best option unless carol mack is like crazy development but i could trade for any one of those players uh not not too difficultly not too hardly that's, that's can't that doesn't work when i'm saying that it wouldn't be too challenging to trade for them is what i'm trying to say what is your development trait carol mack quick desmond king is gonna have about the same normal jason Verrett will have probably really normal i guess injuries shamir sands and a future three gets me desmond king it just made the most sense when you're balancing overall development and age and he's just the youngest with the highest overall pretty much so desmond king will join the team he'll be the same overall as jalen mills and now the defense is looking overall really really good 91 offense 89 overall defense we're in pretty good shape and of course i, I did a lot of screwing over the cpu here but i'm starting with the zero overall team you guys got to give me got to give me at least a little bit of slack for that as we're going to simulate to the midseason mark so we are two and five at the midseason mark uh, a lot of that might be down to just madden simulation not being the best also i understand that the team's not where i want it to be just yet so it is talented it's a it's a pretty good team where i mean we're at 83 overall but that really comes down to special teams a lot because britain cole quits at 12 so that brings our overall down quite a bit if, you have a, if i go to free agency here and i sign a better kicker and punter if there are any available i mean it's going to make our overall jump like aldrick rosas 76 overall i don't think we have a uh current solid kicker or punter so pat o'donnell can come on as well and uh they're gonna be either improvements or about the same it doesn't really matter as far as cap hit goes and that should bump us up in overall at least a little bit to an 86 so it's a good team just we're not quite there so desmond king is the only priority free agent that we'd have to bring back that was part of why it was so easy to trade for him and i'm okay with offering a pretty big deal we'll sign him till he's 31 years old We'll give him about four a year. And I think it's pretty fair from both sides. He's a good player and we want him for the rest of this entire thing. So not too mad about that. We could scout. I'm going to turn that on auto because I will be doing a lot of simulating. I'm not going to, you know, stop every single week. So we clearly did not make the playoffs here in season number two or three or wherever you are now. We finished five and 11, which was, I guess, good enough for second in the AFC North. But... I think we're improving as a team. Of course, if we win Rookie of the Year here, we're going to be in business. Bruce Anand, 
4,100 yards, 29 touchdowns, only 11 interceptions. Pretty good year. Devin Manning, we need to get that yards per carry up. I don't know why it's so bad. Receiving, a great season for Dalton Knight. Incredible, actually, with 13 touchdowns to go with his 1,100 yards. Blocking, eh, gross. <laughs> Defensively, Luke Keekley had 153 tackles. 17 tackles for loss from Sheldon Rankins led the team. As far as sacks go, six for Leonard Floyd and Larry Ogunjobi led the team. Interceptions, not a whole lot because no one ever does unless it's a linebacker. 10 forced fumbles for Luke Keekley. That's insane. Also, four fumble recoveries. Any defensive touchdowns? No. We don't particularly need defensive touchdowns, though. Uh, if we would start scoring on offenses, Todd Gurley wins the MVP. Show me some Browns. AFC Offensive Player of the Year goes to Le'Veon Bell. Bruce Annett at number 10. That's got to be Rookie of the Year. Denzel Perryman wins Defensive Player of the Year. No Browns. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Will Humpall. Bruce Annett at number 2. The Chargers went 15-0-1. So they didn't even... They never lost. They tied. That's very annoying, but I get it. Chargers are sick in simulation for... Houston Wang. What are these names? <laughs> we had Humpall and Wang for the Rookies of the Year. Demarcus Bolden at number 2. That's kind of annoying. We just missed out on a lot of these... But uh, yeah, names, department, at EA, you guys are killing it. All right, time for free agency. We don't have a ton of cap room, but that doesn't mean we can't bring in a big name. Kareem Hunt is here, but of course we have no need for them or for any of these running backs, really. No need for him with Devin Manning being our starter for sure. Uh, Eddie Jackson doesn't even make that much sense. Redskins, per usual, really just bidding very, very high. Jordan Lewis has potential, but our cornerback group is pretty solid after upgrading. I don't, what position am I even looking for? Derek Barnett could make sense. Sidney Jones. Sidney Jones could make sense. Ooh, and they got his face scan in finally. I'm down for that. All right, big week, hopefully, as we want to sign our guys. We got Derek Barnett, OJ Howard, and Sidney Jones, the three guys we went after. So we have a huge upgrade now at tight end as we were sitting at 97 offense, 97 defense, and that's going to hold as well. On the defense side of the ball, we improved on the defensive line. I mean, Cole Klo can go. Eh? We don't really need him too badly. Our linebacker core is really, really solid. And we brought in Derek Barnett. So even though Cole Klo is real good, I can trade him for something. He's really just great trade value. And then a cornerback. We just have a sick cornerback group now. Desmond King, Jalen Mills, Sidney Jones. Just a really solid group of players. Linebacker core is solid. I would like to potentially upgrade over Dante Fowler Jr. But on both defense and offense, our team is sick. One of the best offensive lines in football. I'd be surprised if it was anything but... I need backup tight ends. I need better receivers and a backup running back. NFL draft time. Where do we pick? Fifth overall. Not bad. So I think the best move right here would be to uh, to trade this pick. Just for, get a stud receiver if we can. All right, Colclo, our first round pick and a six next year gets us Cortland Sutton from the Denver Broncos up to a 98 overall now. He progressed really, really well. And that was just an excellent use of our, our first pick. And I'll see if I can do anything with the second. I think, I don't know. Boom, Dante Fowler, a second this year, a second next year for Miles Garrett. I know we're pretty much getting rid of every single pick that we have. But, I mean, it's to get these such, you know, these crazily talented players like Miles Garrett, like Cortland Sutton, 98 and 99 overall. We're improving a lot. Miles Garrett is a significant upgrade over Dante Fowler Jr. I had to get it done. This team is improving a lot. This team is sick. I gotta say, this team is amazing. And I will show you guys real quick what we're gonna do. You'll be like, why would you go out and sign Miles Garrett? Now you don't have a uh, you don't have a right outside linebacker. Oh, I think some of you put two and two together on this. Miles Garrett is our new right outside linebacker. It's a match made in heaven. We're bringing him back to the Browns. Also, got Demarcus Bolden is up to a 91 overall and make that even higher as he goes up to a 93 overall. Awareness, man coverage, zone coverage, and pursuit for run stopper. He's killing it. We got Larry Ogan, Joby on the line. This team just looks so good. It's going to be such a shame if we uh, have a terrible record again. But uh, as you guys may know, that happens all the time because certain teams, in my opinion, are uh, predetermined to win games like the Los Angeles Chargers. But we got a 99 offense now with Cortland Sutton. We got a 99 or 97 defense, something close. Cortland Sutton goes up to a 99 overall. We're just, we're in a pretty good spot right now. He's as high as a 99 can go at this point. I mean, Cortland Sutton 
is just ridiculous except he can't run deep routes for anything but that's you know overrated who who, who runs deep anyway but uh yeah seems pretty good big fan and we got the same we need a kicker or punter so we're gonna go out and just trade for the best ones in the league justin tucker hook em horns future third round pick gets it done and now i will go out and trade for the best punter but hopefully we don't ever have to punt that would be that'd be ideal a five this year and a five next year gets us marquette king 84 overall i didn't even check to see if he was the highest overall punter but come on it's marquette king couldn't not we go up to a 94 overall and i'll tell you what i'm gonna do to pretty much guarantee our success hopefully is i'm going to go in and i'm going to change our schemes to match the sandy no 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 the los angeles chargers and we'll do the rams for defense because it's three four so um what do they have vertical power run there we go 68 percent scheme fit scheme fit doesn't matter so we tested that pretty much in i think my dolphins rebuild you guys might want to go check out that out all of this is going to be in the rebuild playlist i need a backup fullback or well i mean a backup running back i could go for a backup fullback but it's not necessary need backup halfbacks for, for sure though jd mckissick or mckissick i never know how to say his name because uh I don't, you don't really say it that often he's not particularly relevant in the grand scheme of things but now we have backup running backs in uh, both he and tj yeldon and i mean this team should be able to perform it's really good 99 offense 97 defense for a 94 overall so use some coach xp and now i think it's going to be uh Nah, I should probably just go to the midseason mark. Nah, I'm gonna go to the playoffs. We're gonna make the playoffs. We should. I mean, like, this, look at this team. This is a playoff caliber team. We didn't make the playoffs. I mean, you gotta be kidding me at this point. We went eight and eight. How? What do the Steelers have that we don't? Check out the team. You guys see all the overalls. Uh, it's pretty damn good. Tell me the Steelers are anywhere close to us. I hope they are. I hope they're way better. Uh, they're pretty good as well. I would say that, in my opinion at least, that our team is much better. As you can see, we have more high 80s, mid 80s, and of course in the 90s. It's a little bit perplexing that they would win so many games opposed to us as they had six more wins than we had. And I'm no math guy. Because that's definitely not six. Am I out of my mind? What did I read? Like, it's unreal. Clearly four. I'm not really I'm not really a math guy. But uh, I just noticed that I said six. And I'm like, that's not really what I meant to say. Okay. Awkward now, I think. As far as free agents goes, we got Justin Tucker, TJ Yeldon, Cortland Sutton, Luke Keekley, David DeCastro, Quentin Nelson not actually that many and we're finally losing some of our 12 overalls bye baker all right everybody i wanted to resign resigned of course uh tj and jd both i, I have no need to resign them uh I, I can just always resign or sign any fullback or halfback in free agency i don't know why i keep saying fullback it's not 1980 where you got like john riggins that's a fullback but the primary running back or like you know franco harris they're halfbacks now i don't know what i'm doing so we do have cap space but i mean what do we need a tight end maybe if there's a superstar tight end there and then defensively we got a great linebacking core great secondary we don't really need anything other than depth at this point von miller rojo's here darius geis um i mean there's just no one that i really why is mj stewart an 88 overall Sometimes you'll see random guys just super high. I mean, most of it makes a lot of sense, but some of these guys just don't make any sense. Bobby McCain, 85? I don't know about that. So I do have a first round pick still. I don't think I'm going to use it because there's no one that I'm going to draft that makes it worthwhile for the pick for the future. Because we pick 16th overall. because so we actually had a somewhat decent year. I'm going to trade for a tight end, probably. Give me the best tight end in the league. All right, two ones and a four. It gets me Hunter Henry, of course. One of those being in the future. But we don't need the picks. All we need right now is the team to be super stacked. And that's what it is. So adding the best tight end in the league really helps us out quite a bit. There's no draft pick that would come in that could start. There just isn't. So we don't need them. 
So this is the team, still 94 overall. Players are just getting a little bit better. And I'm going to have, hopefully, the CPU auto-progress them. That would be for the best. Actually, no. I'm going to do it myself. I want I want the job done right so we can go 8-8 eight and eight again. That'd be fantastic. But the team, obviously, there's nothing I can tell you guys that you don't already know. It's a sick team. It's a really good team. Hopefully, they win. That's what it comes down to. And Demarcus Bolden is officially a 99 overall. Superstar development, I really can't say anything other than it's probably the most important thing about any player this year. Because when they're getting so many skill points in simulation, if that's what you decide to do in your franchise, they're just going to be so much better in two years than they ever were when you drafted them. So if you drafted an 80 overall with normal versus an 80 overall with superstar, it's a difference between like a 99 overall and probably like an 85. It's, it's a no-brainer. You want superstar dev if you can. Clearly, though. I know you guys are excited as I am. 95 overall, 99 defense, as well as our 99 offense. And uh, you guys are excited for another season of, yes, you guessed it, not making the playoffs. I'll see you at the end of the season. Should be a real treat. Ball out. We went 14-2. and two. About time. Saquon won the MVP? All right, that's not too bad. Bruce Annand. Yeah, all right, season, 3,500 yards is kind of weak, but 36 touchdowns, only seven interceptions. I'm down for that. Devin Manning, he's nearing that four yards per carry. Got to respect it. The fourth Manning brother, 1,100 yards, eight touchdowns. Oh, my goodness. He averaged 69.9 per game. That's pretty nice. Got to respect him for that. Cortland Sutton balled out, nine touchdowns. Dalton Knight with eight. Hunter Henry with 10. Cortland Sutton also had 1,100 yards, so he's probably the best of the bunch there. Offensive line held together pretty well, and then the defense... How much pressure we get, do we get on the quarterback? 11.5 from Miles Garrett, 10 from Sheldon Rankins, 8.5 from Larry Ogunjobi. Interceptions, Demarcus Bolden had 6. That's all you got to do to get interceptions. Just get him up to a 99 overall, and then you're going to be in business. Luke Kuechly forced 9 fumbles. They got to tone that down slightly, I want to say. Turn up interceptions as Luke Kuechly recovered 6 fumbles. Any defensive touchdowns? 2 from Demarcus Bolden, 1 from Jalen Mills. Demarcus Bolden is an absolute goon. Saquon wins MVP. Any Browns in here? Bruce Annan gets in there at number 10. AFC Offense Player of the Year goes to Deshaun Watson. Bruce Annan in there at number 5. Defense Player of the Year goes to Luke Keekley. Get Demarcus Bolden in there at number 8. Rookies don't matter. So even though I do believe that we deserve the record that we had, there are always going to be doubters saying, oh, you forced a win in a video game. Uh, clearly not. Who cares? Right, because the video, I still make the video even if I don't win in simulation. It's a 99 offense, 99 defense. What do you want from me? The team's sick. I've done my job. I need EA Sim to help me out a little bit. This is the upgraded team. Again, 99 defense, 99 offense. Can't upgrade Demarcus Bolden anymore because he's too much of a beast. It's actually locked because he's just too good. I wish I could get his hit power up higher or block shed. But uh, no, that's as high as he'll ever go. I think, in my opinion, kind of a flaw of, of Madden 19's upgrading system. Bruce Annand is up to a 97 overall with confidence. And then special teams. I didn't touch Justin Tucker or Marquette King. But, uh, I mean, they're overall pretty good anyways. So, Marquette King is going to go up to an 86. And I guess we'll upgrade. I mean, accuracy as a punter doesn't matter as much as power does, I think. In eh, That's not even necessarily true. It depends on the field positioning. As far as kicking goes... I think accuracy matters a lot, but then again, so does power. But it doesn't matter because the only thing that will be touched is awareness. And this is the team. It's a really good team. That's pretty much all I can say about it. It's sick. Do we win? Mm, we'll have to see. All right. Everybody's fully upgraded, including wide receiver number four. We're going to advance to the divisional. Coming off a loss in week 17... We will play the same team that beat us, actually. The 10-6 and 6 Texans. Let's play the moments. We're a 95 overall, but they are a 93 overall. So they're not messing around either. This could be a tough one. All right, here we go. We're taking over in the snow as it falls down here in Cleveland, of course. Obviously would not be happening in Houston, Texas for a number of reasons. I think mainly because they play in a dome at Energy Stadium. But all Madden difficulty. Let's go ahead and see how well we can do. Gotta score first. Pitch goes to Devin Manning. And do you see how that block isn't picked up? 
That's just so frustrating. And with the all Madden block sheds, I mean, that just can't happen. You might want to put on like a jacket or something. The coach is like, do you realize that snow's coming down right now? Do you have any idea? Bruce Annan, 7 for 7, 64 yards. I've been a little bit conservative because I'm really not trying to throw an interception here. Really, really not. There we go. We got Knight over the middle. Let's go. Bruce Annan improving that yards per attempt number. 31 yards down the field. They're stacking the box, which means I'm going to go with another receiver. Let's do, uh, let's do this. And that is just wide open. Cortland Sutton, touchdown. We're going to take the lead here. Cortland Sutton talking about his payday. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get paid for sure. Just not by me. This, this is over after this. Defense coming out here, third and six. We had a really exposed middle. I'm probably going to use your Kamani Christian and let Luke Keekley do his thing. And that is wide open. They got Taylor. That's a first down I didn't want to allow. Deshaun Watson, a lot of sixes in there. Another third down. Let's actually stop them this time. I am going to use her Kamani Christian. We got the vert hook responsibility. Mainly watching out for Will Farrell, uh, Fuller here. And they're going to go deep down the middle. Demarcus Bolden tips it. And Barkley tips as well. Regardless, stopped him on third down. Settled for a field goal. And now here we are to match that. Fourth and two. They want us to kick the field goal. I'm not about it. I'm not. Will I fail the mission? I think probably if I don't kick the field goal here, as that was, you know, the goal, kick a field goal. I want the first down. And I want to run the ball. Devin Manning's going to get the handoff. All we need is two. I just need a little bit of blocking. That's got to be first down. Clock keeps moving. First down. Get to the outside. Devin Manning. You, uh, dude, the blocking. I don't know there. We just couldn't get it. Couldn't get to the outside. Part of that, I guess, is on the speed, but he's pretty fast. Let's just try the slant here. Hopefully, they blitz heavy, and they do. Touchdown, Cortland Sutton again. And uh, these celebrations are top tier. Let's see if somebody gets open. We're going to roll out. We're going to roll out. We're going to find our receiver. Wide open is Knight, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. And he is he has a problem with that photographer. I don't blame him. Looks like an elf. Just keep him in front. No first downs. They're going to throw it up. One-on-one. -on -one. It's picked off by Jalen Mills. That could be the game. All right. We're going to win the divisional here. Pretty big victory. And uh, we're conference championship bound. The Browns back in the conference championship. I say back, but I'm not sure if that's ever happened. Oh, joy. We get to face the Chargers, who win 8-8, eight and eight, but I'm sure they're the best team in the league. 89 overall. I don't know if we're going to win this. <laughs> the Chargers in Sim are an absolute joke how good they are. I know they only won eight games this year. It's an anomaly. All right, let's get it. Beautiful day. As we're going to roll out to avoid the sack. Throw it on the run, and it's a dot. Oh, wait, it isn't. We're going to throw it deep. And it... You have him. Henry! He caught it. He didn't end up staying open. I'm not going to celebrate. I'm going to take the touchdown. Hunter Henry. Showing why he's the best tight end in the NFL. Tight end in the NFL at this point, at least. So, uh, yeah. Big way to start the game. All right, fourth and three. They want us to kick the field goal, but I'd rather lose by three and then complain. So, we're going for it. Hopefully something's open, and that's open right away. We got McDougal for the first down. Of course, that ultimate goal being the end zone. Just seal the edge here, OJ Howard. We're actually going to cut right up the middle. Devin Manning with a touchdown in the AFC Conference Championship. And what is going on with this celebration? You guys might know what that is. I, I don't even have a clue. Another third down, this time from the 39. We're going to cancel the play action and look for Knight. Hopefully, they're in a cover two. We might have him. I'm actually going to go for this. It's Cortland Sutton. What a throw and what a catch. Cortland Sutton into the end zone for the touchdown. His second of the day. Oh, my God. He's just a monster. He is just a monster. 
McDougal on the slant holds on touchdown the slant in the red zone against the CPU is just it's the move okay for sure <laughs> and that is the game we're gonna win here 35 to 10 as Anthony Lynn here I believe that's his name just just disgusted with his San Diego no I've done it again with his Los Angeles Chargers doesn't matter what city they're they still lost okay we're in Cleveland it's home game 14 and 2 we got home field advantage I'll call them whatever I want <laughs> sweet don't you love when you're in the middle of something and the game is just like sorry can't play anymore my favorite what is what is going on I said it didn't recognize my profile and now I had to enter all my settings and watch this again are we serious right now if all of my saves have corrupted or been deleted I'm going to be unreal mad because that means Giants franchises no more that means this video we're getting cut before the Super Bowl I swear to God if that happens I'm going to be so sad thank God thank God my saves are here I was legitimately super super nervous for that that could have been just the worst thing ever that could have been so bad all right, Super Bowl in Arizona versus the 11 and 5 Seattle Seahawks. I'm shocked they're actually back here, but I guess they replenished their team, built around Russell Wilson, who should be the quarterback still. And uh, they're an 88 overall, we're 95. This has got to be a win. Look at that tight end comparison. Jesse James looking like a real beast. Doug Baldwin, he's not old and bad now. Oh, wait, who is this Lester Edwards fellow? Is this Cam Chancellor V2? He looks like a monster. I'll give you that. Oh, we... Ah! I had circle. It was the only route I looked at. Others... Oh, my God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spike it now. Not going to happen. I need a little bit of time here. That's it. There it is. He dropped the ball. Oh, man. Wish I hadn't gone for it. <laughs> that's That's bad. I wish that was a first down, like, very badly. They got Darius Geis now? What's going on with the Seahawks team? That's mine. User pick easy reads. The cat in the hat. What are you doing, Russell Wilson? Second and two from the 12th. Clock's ticking here. There we go. Hitting that hard. Bang! Decent gain. Gained a 10. I'll take that. We're going to move into the hurry up and uh probably probably throw the ball here slant to hunter henry we're gonna have a number of things open i think that's a great that's great execution we can probably run on this this is a super weak defensive front here's a handoff how are you stopping devin manning like can we picture eli getting stopped on the on the one because i can't we're gonna have to settle for the field goal Makes it 3-0. Exciting start to the Super Bowl here. I'm really not sure how I didn't score a touchdown earlier with Devin Manning. But we're going to change that this time. We get on the board again. This time with a touchdown, Devin Manning makes it essentially 10-0. Third and 14. The pressure from the Seattle Seahawks has been really difficult to combat so far. Oh my god. Absolutely not the right decision to throw that. We had Hunter Henry wide open over the middle. Or Cortland Sutton. Hunter Henry is lined up to the far left for some reason. I didn't really look. Good lord. But I don't know. Devin Manning. MVP. Super Bowl MVP. Give it to him. That is such a good cutback by Darius Geis. Kind of surprised they didn't rip the ball out there. But it's going to be third and goal on the one. Let's go ahead and allow them uh, three points at the boast. Don't really want to allow a touchdown here. They're going to run the ball right up the middle. That's a great tackle. Luke Keekley, where number 54 keeps them out of the end zone. And I am coming out in goal line. Let's stop them. And because they're coming out with so few uh, wideouts... I can go ahead and commit to the run. And he barrels into the end zone for the touchdown on a run commit down. Oh, it's frustrating. All right, we're going to have to come back and score now. 
Are you kidding me? They didn't give me a moment there? Now we gotta make a stop? What is going on? Are you kidding me? So, clearly super frustrated at the way this turned out. Really not trying to lose this game. We're gonna hit the hole hard with Kamani Christian. He combines to make the tackle and we're gonna call our first timeout. Gonna be third and 13. Everything's fine as long as we stop them. And it looks like they're gonna concede to allowing that. As we're gonna back up off the line here. We, my cornerbacks get back, thank you. They're gonna run. There's a wide open gap up the middle. I'm trying to take the football. Can't do it. Gonna be fourth and probably 11 or 12, 10, whatever. We're gonna have two minutes essentially to drive down and score a touchdown. I'm not playing for the tie. Are they blitzing off the right side? They are. I'm a lob it. Let's go, baby. Go. Outrun him. First down. I am absolutely running PA crossers against the CPU. Kidding me? It's money. Wow, they blitzed. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. I don't want to call that final timeout yet, but I, I also don't want to see these fucking animations. Let me back in the game. We're lobbing it up. It's intercepted. Oh my god. That's game. So I really forced that one there at the end. Uh, super annoying I didn't get a moment before. Because uh, I would have had like three minutes. And I wouldn't have to rush it there at the end. So my mistake. I should not have lobbed it up. I thought we were going to get you know, and beat over the top. Didn't, but that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really think they need to improve Madden Simulation. I don't know if you guys were aware of that theme, but that is going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We unfortunately lose to the Seahawks in one of the worst Super Bowls of all time. 13 to 10 is your final, but that's going to do it for me. Again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.